Hey guys, Cody here. Um, I come to you today from the shop. Um, just got back from doing some fishing, so I am still still making videos. I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I haven't posted nothing in the last two weeks. So, uh, we had a little situation where I normally deer hunt. Um, I have great respect for the people that own the land and everything about it. Um, it's not my land, I do not own it. I'm grateful and thankful that they allow me to hunt it. Now with that being said, um, there was a third person, a third party, we'll call it a third party, um, show up about two weeks ago and decided to start hunting there. Now I have no say in that. Um, you know, I respect the, the owners of the land and everything and if they say he can hunt, he can hunt. I have no problem with that. Um, the problem that I have with it is I have literally been putting out product after product after product after bag of corn after bag of corn licking stick checking pictures for the last two months I brought you almost every time along with me and uh, basically where I where I have been doing this this guy decided to put up his uh, his blind and start hunting there um, which I'm, I'm I really can't be mad um, I'm thankful, like I keep saying, I'm thankful that I even am allowed to hunt there. Um, the thing that makes me mad is uh, the guy didn't ask. He just kind of showed up, which they say is pretty typical for this guy, but you know, still no excuse. Um, and w the thing that upsets me is I, I've spent all this money and spent all this time putting product after product out to have somebody come in, put up a pop-up line right across from where you're hunting and start hunting you know it's not a good thing um, it's it's just not a good thing so what I've done is I have decided that everything I did there has been a waste of time and I pretty much I packed the stick and lick up I packed the the, the minerals and all that the two new feeders I just made and I moved them to the other side of the farm um, Basically, I just let that guy have that that spot. Um, I'm not as mad as I, I I feel like I got inside. I I'm not gonna let it affect you know my hunting. Um, it has a little bit. I'm not gonna say it hasn't, but it has. Uh, it definitely messed with my mojo on on making videos. Um, I went from having content you know every day to the last two weeks struggling to find something interesting enough to make a video about it or. I went out there to make a video and he showed up and you know uh, it's just it was a bad deal um, I you know I don't really have anything else other than that that I want to talk about on the deer hunting um, gun seasons coming up uh, modern gun it comes in this coming Saturday which is the 11th or something like that it comes in this coming weekend and uh, rut is pretty much in full swing here and so i kind of just said enough with the bow hunting i'm just gonna do gun hunting moderate gun and uh that'll be that so guys i got all my other i got all my stuff up um cameras up my other deer stands always been there i have hunt there in the past um feeders out you know i everything i can do on the other side of the farm i've done it so hopefully this weekend we'll see uh see uh, one of them big deers that are chasing um come through there and we'll we'll get to harvest us a big deer so we'll go ahead and move on to the to what we we uh filmed today um there's a guy that i work with his name's todd we call him uh tvd uh he fishes a lot here in kentucky he's he's pretty dang gone good um and i have been on his butt all year long to take me fishing he fishes tournaments every weekend Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he's fishing. Um, the guy just knows lakes, almost all the lakes around here, like the back of his hand. Um, and finally, after six months of asking him to take me, he finally took me, and we went to uh, Cave Run. Now, uh, what you will see on the actual footage, uh, Cave Run is actually down, I think, six, seven foot, so th there's a lot of spots that are just mud. Um, even all the ramps, everything's hard to put in right now and it's super super dangerous so um i'll go ahead and give a warning and a disclaimer in the in the right now that uh what you're about to watch i do not recommend um this guy knows 
he knows this like like the back of his hand like I, like I said earlier he's been fishing it for over 30 years um, guys he's he's <laughs> I, I don't know anybody else that would run this hard up a up a river like this but uh, a lot of people call him crazy a lot of people call him stupid I just say he has big cojones because I sure couldn't do it but uh, I rode with him so I guess that gives me some cojones right <laughs> so we will uh, we'll go ahead and uh, cut to that video uh, I think he we ended up catching 14 fish he caught 12 I think I caught two so he shows you who the real fisherman is we'll run through those real quick and uh, do some aerial footage shots that I got and us running up the river and everything and uh, we'll we'll uh, talk about what we got coming up in the next week so we'll catch you here in a second <laughs> first fish of the day, boy. That's right. First fish. Old TVD coming through. <laughs> first fish of the day, boy. It's two. Two. Make her count. <laughs> Number two. Little video. Did you get it? Yeah. There you go. TVD. <laughs> Number three. I might have to put this damn tube back on. Huh? I might have to put this damn tube. That baby. That don't matter. You, got, you, can't, you can't just stop, start out catching 10 pounders. Uh, Alright TVD, you can slow down anytime. Yeah. <laughs> just hand me the pole next time. <laughs> Well, he eat it. He ate that, didn't he? He got it. Little 12 incher. 12 incher. 
Ball fishing, cave run. Three pounder? Right at three. Two and three quarters. <clears throat> Seventeen and a half inch, about two and three quarters. We've done one this tournament. Probably. So that makes uh, what seven for you? <laughs> yeah, I haven't caught anything yet. It's coming though. I feel it. He's putting me all over him. <laughs> you got him. Yeah, he's got him. Number eight. Yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, that's another keeper. That'll win the tournament today. <laughs> that we're not finished <laughs> fishing? Oh, yeah. 17 inches. That's a good one. You got two and a half, three? Hell yeah. I watched it come up and eat it. I flipped over in there and it come out of nowhere and come up and sucked it back down. Well that makes a uh, 10 fish to a half. I call it a half of one. He got off where I got to the boat. I'm counting it. Uh, I don't care what he says. It was a golly whopper too. I mean it was at least at least five pounds. <laughs> five pounds. Oh, TVD, baby, tearing it up, tearing it up today. A little November, November 5th fishing. Okay, run. No uh, TVD bass, but I finally, finally hooked up with one today. Big whopping two ounce, five ounce bass, but I will take it. At least I didn't go home skunked. Can't all, can't all be Todd <laughs> TVDs up here. I can't believe he let that fish go. If he, if Todd knew that was there, he'd have caught it. Probably. <laughs> Look at that. He got mad at me because I caught one, <laughs> so he had to, he had to go right behind it and hook get a bigger one. I see how, I see how it is. He didn't let that one go this time. My eyes were closed halfway. I'm not gonna lie. Halfway through that, my eyes were closed. I, I don't even. I couldn't tell you how how to even get back there. I mean, there was just tears rolling out of my eyes. But old TVD, he's a good guy. Um, if y'all ever get an opportunity, if you know Todd, uh, fish with him. He's a he's a hell of a fisherman, guys. He's he's something else. Um, with that being said, I want to switch over to uh, talk a little bit about the future of KIG Outdoors. So, what does the future? What does the future hold for KIG Outdoors? Obviously, deer hunting's coming to an end. Fishing's gonna get to a point where it's so cold that you can't do nothing and it's gonna be miserable. And uh, nobody wants to watch you go out and not catch nothing. Uh, nobody wants to watch you go out hunting and not kill anything. It's, it's actually really hard to make a video about hunting and fishing. Um, it can be, content is not always on your side. Uh, one thing that I will mention, I did go turkey hunting. I forgot to mention this earlier. I did go turkey hunting last weekend trying to, uh, you know, get my mojo back and trying to get things rolling again. And uh, like I said, content is everything. I'll put, I'll put a quick shot of uh, me and Jeremy going uh, turkey hunting um, last Saturday. We actually saw a lot of turkey, turkeys, but uh, unsuccessful. We had an unsuccessful trip. Uh, I really appreciate him taking me and... Uh, let me go on his land and of course his father-in-law letting us hunt there but uh guys it that is something that uh, I would like to get into and it is extremely hard I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now um, being six foot seven walking through the woods it ain't that easy to be quiet <laughs> but uh, you, you would think they've seen Bigfoot before but you know that evidently I don't look like Bigfoot but uh, the future so question that I have about the future of KIG Outdoors, I have an 89 Chevrolet, and I'll put a picture right there. Um, 
I'm thinking about doing trying to get it back on the road. Um, I've done a couple things to it. It's modified. Uh, it is 89 Chevrolet half 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 ton short wheelbase pickup truck. Um, it originally had a V6 in it. Uh, we I, I've had this. This was my first truck. My father bought it. I think he was the first owner, second maybe second owner. Anyway, we've had this truck forever, um, almost 15 years, if not longer now. It's been in my, my possession for that long. And uh, I'm thinking about putting it back on the road. And uh, what I mean by that is I, I started, uh, back before I started YouTubing, I, I am a mechanic by day, uh, crane mechanic. And by night, I, you know, I, I still tinker. I, I still try to get out in the garage, try to do uh, just a little something, just keeping my mind busy sometimes, just to keep things, you know, keep you sane. Um, but I have already started modifying this uh, half ton Chevrolet. Um, I put a 5.3 liter out of a 99 Chevrolet. I put an MV4500 out of a, like a 94 big block Chevrolet pickup truck, or I think they come out and comes. 98 pickup trucks stuff like that um if i'm talking gibber gibberish right now i'm sorry but um it's just kind of something that um i've worked on and i kind of enjoy because of what i do for a living um i didn't know if y'all be interested in me recording it and kind of kind of coming along with me as i put it back on the road um I, if you don't mind give me some comments down below if y'all be interested uh i think my first project is uh i want to switch the rear end out in it it has a 10 bolt in it and i want to put a 14 bolt in it and uh i also want to redo the fuel lines on it just stuff like that guys i want to get this back on the road um try to get it running just bring you along for the process of me getting it back on the road i didn't know if y'all would be interested in that but uh you know you got to do something during the winter it's going to be cold and nasty and ain't nobody want to be outside so I thought this might be a good alternative. And of course, I'm still going to do reviews. I have a log splitter that I'm going to do a review on. Uh, something they call a pickaroo. Chainsaws. Uh, stuff like that I'm going to do reviews on still. Um, I got some snow products I'm going to do reviews on. Um, guys, I just, you know, I just want to keep it rolling. I don't want to get in a slump again. And uh, I'm... I kind of it kind of really bothered me that I let it go that long. I went two weeks and it, it really kind of bothered me, guys. I'm not going to lie. Almost to the point where I was like, you know what? I don't even want to do YouTube anymore. I, and I don't know why it was. It was just that... I don't know. It's hard to explain, but... I'm going to try to keep putting out videos and I'm going to try to keep the future of KIG looking good. And if guys, if y'all got any comments or something that you want to see done, um, by all means... Put it down below, comment, and I will try my hardest to do it or brainstorm on it or maybe even talk to you about it and see if I can't uh, come up with a good idea or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so, that's all I have, guys, until uh, this weekend. This weekend is opening day of modern gun season in Kentucky. So, if you're going hunting, be safe. Um, wear your orange. Don't do nothing stupid. And uh, good luck, guys. I really uh, be safe. So hopefully I can be doing a video next Saturday about the big monster deer I've killed. Um, hopefully. But uh, with that being said, guys, we will catch you on the next video. We'll see you.